What's up guys, this is Jay with Gaona Bullies. Today's video, we're gonna be uh, switching up the diet uh, from what we've been feeding. Normally we've been feeding uh, Victor, just kibble by itself. All right, so the kibble that we normally use is uh, Victor, the teal bag, um, and it's the High Pro Plus for active dogs and puppies. We like to give it to the puppies and adults, and also is actually very good for nursing moms. And Pretty much, I'm gonna be kind of like downgrading from that into a raw diet anyway. So this is just kind of be for a little bit of a filler and to kind of help them transition from the kibble to the to the raw. But it's a really good dog food if you don't use uh, raw. If you don't, if you're not going the raw way, uh, I've been using it for a minute now. It's kind of what I've been using since day one. Uh, it, it can be a little expensive, but um, you can buy. Purina Puppy Chow, mix it up 50-50, and it, it should be good, man. That's what I've been doing for a while, just to kind of save up on, save some money on, on, on food. But it's kind of the, the, the choice of kibble that we have here. Mr. Huracan here has a little bit of a, of, a, of a skin allergy on top of his head there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and the vet didn't clear him to travel on the 25th. So, you know, we got to clear that up. And uh, we're going to take the opportunity to try out this diet, this raw diet, see if it's something that, that will work for us. Uh, come here, boy. Mr. Huracan here. Well, not Mr. Huracan, but I'm sorry, Mr. Mr. Diesel here. When he was younger, he had, he had a little bit of uh, skin issues, and we were able to clear that up right away. We didn't use raw, and he turned out pretty good. We got him out of the dirt. You know, we noticed that every time that he would play around dirt, he would just flare up. Like, his, his, you know, he'd have like, he has like a, a white coat. You know, and on the white parts, wherever it would flare up, it would just get real red. You know, he had a few patches here and there, and uh, we were able to clear that up. So today's video is basically just switching up the diet. We're gonna be trying out this new, this this raw uh, for, for our program, see if it works, you know what I'm saying? And if it does, then we'll continue to use it. We're gonna be trying it on Anacaona, and we're also gonna be trying it on Huracan to see if we can clear him up. But we're just gonna see how it goes for her. Um, and you know being that she's pregnant we're gonna try to implement as many good you know nutrition into her as possible so that we can have a healthy litter and pretty much that's what it is guys uh, I'll go ahead and you know let you guys watch the video check it out we went shopping we bought some meat we packed everything up and you know gave them their first raw feeding uh, so enjoy the video guys start working on some raw meat and raw diets for them. Actually for Huracan and Anna to start off with. And then we're gonna see how it flows. Um, but basically what I got here is uh, the beginnings of it. I have uh, some, some heart, this is beef heart. We have some kidneys, this is kidneys. Beef kidneys. We have some turkey drumsticks. We got some gizzards. And we got some chicken. I think you guys saw the video. For me. We got some turkey nets over here also. And we got some veggies going on in the back. All right, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break everything apart and I'm gonna portion everything out into Ziploc bags for a whole week. 
Um, I'm gonna only take, take out like enough for that week and then you know we'll take it from there. So right now I'm gonna cut the video and then we're gonna prep all this stuff up and when you see me again, we should have everything you know ready to go, all right? All right, guys, so we're ready to go. We got everything bagged up and ready to go. Now, I'm, let me explain to you guys how I'm gonna be doing the, the portions and, and, and rationing them out. Uh, basically, your dog will eat about maybe 2.5, 3.5 percent of its body weight. Um, so, um, in Urakang's case, he's about 37.7 pounds. So, we're gonna break that down to maybe about 13 ounces, and then we'll split that in half for two servings a day. So, you know, we'll feed in the morning and then we'll feed at night. Same thing with uh, Miss Ana Caona. She's about 55 pounds. You know, that or that comes up to maybe a little bit over a pound for her. So we'll split that in half and we'll do two servings for her as well. So today, since it's the first day that we're going to be implementing our raw diet, I went ahead and just kind of put together a little bit of everything and I'm going to be adding some kibble to it just to kind of transition the process little by little. But I'm I'm also thinking about keeping it 50-50 with the with the with the Victor and you know with the raw. So, but depending on how it all flows, we'll see how it all goes. Little by little, we'll kind of learn and and see what works for our dogs, and um, we'll kind of adjust as we go. But today, since being the first day, I went ahead and did everything, you know, rationaled everything out, and I got I got all the baggies, you know, labeled and prepped up one serving per day per dog that's about a week's work the food right there and um let's just see how it goes we're gonna uh, give the dogs the uh the first bowl here in a minute and i'm gonna be i'm gonna be adding some kibble and a little bit of vegetables to this also uh we added we're gonna put an egg in there not sure how they're gonna how they're gonna like that but uh, I've also been told the, the eggshells are actually real good also. So, putting everything in. Now, one thing that I don't know if I mentioned on the other part of the video is make sure that when you're messing with meat, that you wash your hands thoroughly in any surface and any tools that you use, uh, that you wash everything real good and disinfect so that you don't get no 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 salmonella or whatever it is so basically that's going to be the the meal for tonight uh we got a little bit here for for huracan and a little bit for for anacaona 
and let's see how that goes. All right, so a quick little tip, if you're gonna freeze your meat, is to take out the meat that you're gonna use the night before and kind of just put it on the other side. You know, so that way it's easier to thaw out in the morning. You know, prep the meat, prep the meal, give it to them, good to go. There you go. All right, so we're about to feed. We got those guys their food. Now we're gonna feed. We're gonna let Huracan out. Come here, boy. We'll feed him by himself. We'll feed Anna by herself. Check it out. Let's see how she reacts to the first raw feeding. Come here, Huracan. Let's see Huracan. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. That's the first raw feeding right there. Got some vegetables. Check. All right, so he's tearing it up. She tore all of it. She tore it up already. Good boy. Well, there you have it, guys. Empty bowls. What's up, guys? This is Jay with Gaona Bullies. Today's video, we're gonna be uh, switching up the diet uh, from what we've been feeding. Normally, we've been feeding uh, Victor, just kibble by itself. All right, so the kibble that we normally use is uh, Victor, the teal bag, um, and it's the High Pro Plus for active dogs and puppies. We like to give it to the puppies and adults, and also is actually very good for nursing moms. And pretty much, I'm gonna be kind of like downgrading from that into a raw diet anyway, so this is just kind of be for a little bit of a filler and to kind of help them transition from the kibble to the, to the raw. But it's a really good dog food if you don't use uh, raw, if, you don't, if you're not going the raw way. What's up guys, this is Jay with Gaona Bullies. Today's video, we're gonna be uh, switching up the diet uh, from what we've been feeding. Normally we've been feeding uh, Victor, just kibble by itself. All right, so the kibble that we normally use is uh, Victor, the teal bag. Um, and it's the high pro plus for active dogs and puppies. We like to give it to the puppies and adults and Also is actually very good for nursing moms and Pretty much I'm gonna be kind of like downgrading from that into a raw diet anyway So this is just kind of be for a little bit of a filler and to kind of help them transition from the kibble to the to the raw but it's a really good dog food if you don't use uh, raw if you don't if you're not going the raw way I've uh, been using it for a minute now. It's kind of what I've been using since day one. Uh, it, it can be a little expensive, but um, you can buy Purina Puppy Chow, mix it up 50-50, and it, it should be good, man. That's what I've been doing for a What's up, guys? This is Jay with Gaona Bullies. Today's video, we're going to be uh, switching up the diet uh, from what we've been feeding. Normally, we've been feeding uh, Victor, just kibble. By itself. All right, so the kibble that we normally use is uh, Victor, the teal bag, um, and it's the high pro plus for active dogs and puppies. We like to give it to the puppies and adults, and also is actually very good for nursing moms. And pretty much, I'm gonna be kind of like downgrading from that into a raw diet anyway, so this is just kind of be for a little bit of a filler and to kind of help them transition from the kibble to the to the raw but it's a really good dog food if you don't use uh, raw if you don't if you're not going the raw way I've uh, been using it for a minute now it's kind of what I've been using since day one uh, it, it can be a little expensive but um, you can buy Purina puppy chow mix it up 50 50 and it, it should be good man that's what I've been doing for a while just to kind of save up on save some money on on, on food but it's kind of the the, the choice of kibble that we have here. Mr. Huracan here has a little bit of a, of, a, of a skin allergy on top of his head there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and the vet didn't clear him to travel on the 25th. So 
you know, we got to clear that up. And uh, we're going to take the opportunity to try out this diet, this raw diet, see if it's something that, that will work for us. Uh, come here, boy. Mr. Huracan here. Well, not Mr. Huracan, but I'm sorry, Mr. Mr. Diesel here. When he was younger, he had, he had a little bit of uh, skin issues. And we were able to clear that up right away. We didn't use raw, and he turned out pretty good. We got him out of.